is a Mossberg 500. Um, very common gun, uh, great hunting gun. Um, it, it'll chamber both two and three quarter and three inch shells. It's a 500A. Um, has that vent rib, you see it's that nice long 28 inch barrel, removable chokes, it makes a really good hunting gun. The very first shotgun I ever fired when my dad uh, took us, me and my brothers when we were little, took us to the range, we got to shoot stuff. The very first gun I ever fired was a Mossberg 500, very similar to this one. Not this one, but one, like I said, very, very, very similar. Um, great all around gun too. I can very easily, with just a couple of modifications, take this hunting gun and make it into my home defense gun. And just a couple of steps, a couple of modifications that are really quick to do, don't cost much, and are pretty effective when it comes to making, like I said, a home defense gun, or when something goes bump in the night, the gun you grab to take out in the backyard and see what's making that noise. Uh, follow along and I'll show you what I, what I did to take this from a, a field gun to my home, home, home defense gun. One of the first things you wanna do is you wanna get rid of this long barrel. And this is a nice barrel, it's great for hunting. It has a ventilated rib, it has a nice, uh, you know, the, that elevated uh, sight rail with your uh, two beads, real good for sighting along, but it's a little big for a home defense gun. So just by loosening this cap screw, we'll take that out. The barrel comes right out, we can, we can swap barrels. But before you swap barrels, Let's take out that duck plug. What a duck plug does, it takes up your magazine capacity so you can only put two rounds in it. This big long tube would normally hold five rounds, but with a duck plug, you're reduced to just two. So to get the duck plug out of a Mossberg shotgun, just shake it, and you'll see that little plug appear. We'll remove this stick. This little stick is what takes the place of three rounds in your magazine. So we've gotten rid of that duck plug. I've just increased my magazine capacity from two to five. Now we'll put this thing at about half stroke in the pump. We'll take our 18 inch barrel and we'll slide that in. Now what, you did, what I did is I, as I removed the regular cap screw and I got an aftermarket screw that has a sling stud on it because I wanted this gun to be, have, have a sling on it. So this screw replaces the original and as I screw it in, it'll lock down now I've got a, a mount for my uh, sling. I wanted to have a sling on my shotgun, and now I have one. This gun originally came with a synthetic stock, but the sling, this uh, stud, uh, was added by me. I, what I did, I just drilled and tapped and added a, a sling mount location. So now I've got a mount on the front with that replacement screw, and I've got a stud here on the back so I can attach my quick detach sling anytime I want. This is what's called a quick detach uh, sling mount, um, or a quick detach sling swivel. Um, it's a spring-loaded device. It has this little pin that goes through your stud mount and it locks onto the uh, gun. So a little push. Now it's locked in. This will screw. This this will screw down, so it doesn't come undone in the field. So now I've got a nice anchor for my sling, and it comes off. Like I said, it's a quick detach, so it comes right on and off. Well, there you go. Just a few modifications, and I've taken my hunting gun to my became now my home defense gun. I added a, a cuff, it's just an Uncle Mike's, you know, I got five rounds that's mounted onto the gun. Kind of like that M1 carbine, how they had their spare mags on the, uh, on, on the, on the stock of the gun. Um, I wanted a sling, like, like I said, I wanted to have a sling, but I didn't want to get one of those shell carriers. I didn't want all that weight swinging around, you know, for my extra ammo. I want my ammo on the gun itself, so that, that's, that's not swinging around, that's not throwing my balance off. But I did want the sling, if I take this out in the backyard, there, I got raccoons knocking over the trash cans, and say I need to have my hands free to do something, I, need, I don't want to lay the gun down on the ground, I don't want to lean it up against a fence post, I can sling it, and then I have my hands free. Um, and if I need the gun again, it's readily available, I don't have to go searching for it or find it or drop it on the ground. Hey, I want to have a shotgun that could be slung. Um, you don't usually sling shotguns, usually you carry them, you know, if you're out in the field, um, but this is no longer the field gun, now it's my home defense gun. So those sling mounts do, gonna, do uh, come in handy. I did not put a light on this. Um, and correct me if I'm wrong, but it's been my experience. If you have a flashlight, nine times out of 10, it's gonna show the, whatever you're after, it's gonna show them where you are before you see them with the light. I don't wanna be waving a flashlight in the backyard if, it's, if I'm after somebody, and then all they have to do is shoot at my light. So I don't wanna be a target. Um, I'll let my eyes adjust. 
the same as theirs, we'll be on even ground, and I'll just shoot what I, when I'm able to see them. Um, so I didn't really want to put a light on there. I know some guys want to put a light so you can see in the dark. Um, but like I said, it's, it's been my experience that all the flashlight does is just kind of show them where you are. Uh, that's about it. So I've taken that nice hunting rifle, I made it into my home defense gun, and like all defense guns, you gotta take it out and practice. When you wanna practice, make practice fun. Now you're more likely, if practice is a chore, you won't do it. If it's fun, you're more likely to spend more time doing it. Um, so I take the boys out and we have a great time with it. We shoot milk jugs, we shoot things that go, you know, tip over, knock down, uh, reactive targets. That's, that's a fun stuff, like the clay pigeons, the clay target, you know, the, 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 uh, you know, the skeet, the, the, the trap targets. Um, those things break apart and it's kind of cool. But if it's going to be your home defense gun, your life's going to depend on it. Keep it simple, keep it functional, practice with it, become proficient with it. And that's my advice for the home defense gun. Uh, see you in the next video.